Let's Talk Tech is a series about technology. We celebrate tech enthusiasts who are impacting their countries, Africa and the world. This episode puts the spotlight on Randolph Ousu, a young Ghanaian software developer based in Ghana's capital, Accra. This 23-year-old is in his final year studying IT at Methodist University College in Ghana. Infobox Daily spent some time with the talented young technopreneur who lives with his parents and siblings at Anya, a suburb of Accra. At the age of 11, my dad got us a computer and I realized I developed more interest in computers other than schoolwork or even work, uh, work I'm supposed to do in the house. So late nights when everybody's asleep, I go in front of a computer and start to navigate games, delete, alt and change a lot of things. That was when I realized computer is something I should delve into. He also doubles as the founder and CEO of Oasis Websoft. Raindorf creates web applications that are more suitable for the African setting. His software packages include Anansi web browsers, a Linux distribution, and Dr. Diabetes, a simple web application that provides you with your diabetes status online. When I started developing the software, I realized that, you know, I was reinventing the world, building what other people are doing. So I should focus more on building relevant software that will suit maybe the Ghanaian community or the African community. So I built Dr. Diabetes as a software that you can download on my website. What it does is, is some sort of a questionnaire. So it will ask you a set of questions and it has a predictive model that will let you know if you are prone to getting diabetes or not. And based on my research, I realized about 300,000 Ghanaians already have diabetes and they are even prone to getting diabetes. So I decided to delve there. And um, quite recently, I'm working on a software called Anansipedia. What Anansipedia does is, is something I'm really passionate about because most of the things I know right now are things I learned on the internet. The internet has a vast majority of information and data. So I built a software that comes pre-installed and this is a collaborative project with myself and some more Dexter of SoftwareCon. The biggest thing I'm planning to create will be created with artificial intelligence. We have a lot of data being gathered in Africa but we need to make sense out of this data. There's a lot of buzz around big data that I think we should even drill down to use leveraging on big data and artificial intelligence to build very intelligent systems that will make our life very, very easy and to build very relevant applications. So it won't just be one app, it might be an app that I'm going to build with a team and we are going to change how people perceive technology made in Africa. When Raindorf is not on campus attending lectures, he meets up with like-minded coursemates to brainstorm on IT projects and also discuss their common goals. Entrepreneurship is, is, an, is an awesome thing for the youth, but coming together as a great team to build an application or to build a technology a business is something that will drive the nation forward. So I think teamwork is something developers should take seriously. Instead of being independent and thinking of working on their own or building the next WhatsApp, they should instead come together, focus on a good problem and solve their problem. He's fun to work with and he takes everything very serious as well. Persons who exhibit such behavior or such um, ability should be supported by their institutions. I hope that in the future it brings very good products which will be beneficial to Ghana, Africa and also the world. He has attended several fora, including one on young people in Africa, a new mindset arising, held in Berlin, Germany. He is currently the resident developer for Thou Works Incorporation, a global IT consortium. Hard-working Raindorf looks forward to making it big in the technology industry. My advice to the youth is just look within yourself. Don't take things that people give to you. You need to question things. You should know that status quo doesn't work anyway, so, you know, you hone your skills, find something you want to do and pursue it. Make sure you are creating maybe change, if it's wealth or anything else, just make sure you want to create change. Yeah.